So a possible IA is the lucky drinking bird. You could do this for chemistry or this maybe physics as well. So the head's cold, uh, the bottom's warm, and that causes it to oscillate. I'll describe, explain why a little later. So what could you use as your independent variable? What could you change? Well, you could change the temperature of the water, and for your dependent variable, measure the frequency of dipping. You could change the chemical, which is the experiment I'm going to do now, the chemical that it dips into. You could also keep everything the same set up here, but use uh, different thermal environments. I bet if it's warmer, it will, go, uh, it will go more frequently. And finally, I've just noticed, I think it's going to miss. Is it going to miss? No, there we go. And finally, uh, you can set up a heat lamp and paint his little bottom. If his bottom's black, I bet it gets hotter quicker. And since the frequency probably depends on the thermal difference between the cold head and the warm bottom, I bet if you painted the bottom black, you could get it to oscillate faster. And if you painted it white, which would reflect most of the heat coming in, I think it would probably oscillate slower. So in the description, I'll put links to more detailed explanations to how the nodding bird works. But essentially, uh, the water goes onto the felt head, and here, uh, the felt head, uh, the water will evaporate. So evaporation is bond breaking, liquid to gas evaporation, bond breaking, endothermic. So it feels cooler. It actually becomes cooler, just like my finger is becoming cooler now from evaporation. So, as the head gets cooler, the pressure decreases in the head. So, since PV equals NRT is the gas law, the temperature of the gas in the head is going down. Well, the number of molecules of gas in the head don't really change. So, that's unchanging. The gas constant, it's a constant. It doesn't change. So the volume is also fixed. The, the head has a fixed glass volume, so that's unchanged. So as the pressure decreases, oh, well, as the temperature decreases, so does the pressure. So the pressure in the head decreases. Uh, there's two reasons. Is when the gas particles hit the glass, they're hitting less frequently and with less energy. So the pressure is decreased in the head. Now, as the pressure is decreased in the head, uh, the pressure here remains constant. And so the high pressure gas here in the bulb at the bottom is forcing up the liquid, up the tube, higher and higher and higher, until the liquid goes all the way up into the tube and into the head. And because of the way it's slightly tilted, as soon as there's enough fluid in the head, the bird tilts over. It empties back down again and resets. That's a quick explanation. How does this work with chemistry? Well, you've got intermolecular forces, both from the chemical in the bird and from the chemical that's evaporating off of the head. You've got the Boltzmann distribution to explain why at higher temperatures, uh, things go, uh, the molecules go faster in terms of evaporation and in terms of pressure. And you've also got the enthalpy change of vaporization to play with as well. So the experiment that I've done, the experiment I've done is uh, I'm changing the chemical that it's dipping into. So methanol, ethanol, propanol, butanol and pentanol to see if the different alcohols, which have different boiling points and different uh, enthalpies of vaporization, to see how they change the frequency of the head tipping. Nice. So let's use methanol on the head of the bird, 22.3 degrees centigrade. I try and do a fair experiment by using 12 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve drops onto the beak. Wow, that was fast. Oh, it's jammed. Look at that. 
So it's evaporating so fast and cooling the head so fast that it's not going to oscillate. Let me give it a poke. No, nah. it's not going to play ball. Interesting. All right. And it's stuck again. Okay, now for ethanol, 96%. Uh, don't be tempted to drink it like a an alcoholic drink. That extra 4% is nasty stuff. Mostly methanol. Still gets you drunk, but gives you brain damage. All right, 12 drops. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there she goes. Two nods give one count. So now on to the uh, one butanol. Now the day has cooled down a bit, which is going to slow evaporation from this alcohol. So that's a, an, a variable I've not managed to control. But let's put uh, again 12 drops on the beak. One, two. Alrighty, so the evaporation seems a lot slower compared to the other ones. I don't see the blue liquid rising up very fast at all. So the Penton one oil isn't evaporating enough at all. Diddly's happening. Oh well, so the experiment can't go much past this thing in terms of the change of carbons in the alcohol. Now we all know that the IA in IB can be a bit of a horror show for you. In fact, here's my little collection of horror characters there. Now, I don't want to go through on this video the explanation as to what happens, but I mean, here's the data there, but there's definitely a pattern. Uh, if I went through the explanation and then you chose to do this experiment, maybe you get busted for plagiarism. I'm not sure. It is so hot here in Prague, I can barely function. But I was thinking your uh, great-grandparents screwed up the atmosphere with acid rain, but your grandparents passed legislation to fix that. Then your grandparents screwed up the atmosphere with CFCs. And your parents helped to pass the Montreal Protocol, their generation, my generation. But what have we done for you? Well, we've massively screwed up the, the atmosphere with all these global warming chemicals. And so we've kind of left it up for you guys to fix the problem, which is orders of magnitude bigger than the other two. <sighs> Sorry about that. And the sad thing is, is one of the big hopes it'll all be fixed is is pinned on that little 16-year-old girl, Greta. How do we get ourselves in this situation, eh?